Welcome to Iron Plane Presents. So let's see, we've talked about technical optimization, we've talked about business optimization, and I think that leaves us down to the last bucket, which is, you know, what we call uh, usability and conversion rate optimization. Uh, you could talk about it in different ways, but that's what we came up with as kind of capturing the majority of what's in this bucket. So let us know what uh, what the optimization <laughs> here looks like. Yeah, going back to, you know, someone's coming to us for optimization. This is probably 80% of the time what they mean, um, you know, SEO, um, marketing kind of optimization efforts. Now, I mean, not, not saying that one is priority over the other, other than, other than what the Magento version and, and getting a solid foundation, I think is always step one. Um, but now you're getting into the customer experience. Um, so if you want to track that kind of optimization, the first point is to make sure that your analytics tags are set up correctly, that we have accurate data and complete data, uh, to look at a funnel and see where people are falling off. Is it, is it an initial bounce? Maybe you're, maybe that's because your site speed is poor or they're getting into checkout and, and then the, the, the cart to checkout conversion is poor because the shipping rates are too high, right? It can be a lot of things, but um, we want to we want an accurate funnel first, and then making sure that that funnel includes not just e-commerce transactions but other potentially revenue generating opportunities. So that can be contact form submissions, that could be uh, quote submissions, right? Maybe you've got a custom quoting module that's those those events are not ending up in analytics. Well, they do count for something, and and we can pull together some benchmarks uh, from your from your sales team. If if quotes are converting at fifty percent, and and we know the value of those products going into the quote, and right, we just want to get up an accurate funnel. Uh, as part of analytics, one thing we would also just throw in there is to. Generally, using Google Tag Manager is, is a good um, a good thing to put in uh, because it eliminates it, it eliminates the need for developers to get involved for your marketing team to do what they need to do. So instead of having to come to a developer anytime you want to add a new marketing tag on the site, you can just do this directly through Tag Manager. So if your if your funnel is not built out um, accurately and completely yet, then we would generally switch to Tag Manager from the beginning and make sure that you know, going forward, everything is tracking as, as we need it. For more insight on how to improve your e-commerce website, visit ironplane.com. Follow us on social media and like and subscribe below.